One sat alone beside the highway begging. His eyes were blind and the light he could not see. He clutched his rags and shivered in the shadow. Then Jesus came and bade his darkness flee. When Jesus comes, the tempter's power is broken. When Jesus comes, the tears are wiped away. He takes the gloom and fills the light with glory. And all is changed when Jesus comes to stay. Okay. Anything else you want to? Write to me. Bye. Wait a minute. There, okay, I'll get you going here. <laughs> You're on the air. The you want to get the offering? Last night was great. <laughs> what can this I say? Our... I sat there and I just drank it all. Look at the money. Where's all oh, the money at? Oh, oh, oh. Fan yes, fan all it. Money, money. <laughs> Brother Cleve's on his way. Oh. It's Brother Cleve's money. <laughs> he is on his way to Africa. Amen. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> doing there's the head head cook <laughs> so this is the last day right oh, getting in the latest gossip here this is the last cookout right here. Everybody look like you're working. What, yeah. what you having for dinner? What you having for dinner? Cut out there. What we're having? We're having taco salad. Well, I'll tell you what. Tell Cindy what you had this week. <laughs> what was Cindy, the success? I did for you last night. I'm sorry. I wanted to, but I was scared. <laughs> she wrote me. I got a letter yesterday and said, run lap for me. I thought, ugh. And then Sue Brogdon, or Sue Funks, and I went around about four times, and then John, she went by me. I told her that, and she went, Cindy Brogdon, Cindy Brogdon, Aww. Cindy Brogdon. <laughs> so how was this week's uh, in the kitchen? It was great. Show her the new oven. She'll be glad of that, because oh, the oven the... cooks fast. And if we could just get Mary Kay out of the kitchen, we'd be more efficient. Okay. Does she have a referee's outfit on today? No. no. We fed cow. We fed cow cow every day. Okay, this is going to Cindy now. You guys can say hey to her. Hi, if you want. Cindy. Hi. All right. That's what you in the show. And that's something they'll gossip. They they'll, can talk real good until you get a camera on them or something. And well, you should have hidden behind. Ten pounds heavier when you're on camera. Okay, everybody, say wave goodbye. goodbye. Okay, I have to show the new stove here. That's what it looks like. Mrs. Esterline. This is number one tomato cutter. Uh oh. Take a look here at Junior Church in the morning services. Boy, oh, I done this look. Hey, what's going on down here? Mass murder. Say he say hello to Cindy, New Guinea.
All right, here's a picture of the nursery. God's been gracious with me. I'm telling you, so much better. We Tell me what it's like thought. here in the nursery during we camp meeting. We need dedication. That bad. <laughs> and I want you to understand, you need to run. Pretty run. Okay, pretty quiet today. Oh, oh, look at that big baby a right there. This, no, we also have a lot of times we start out, man. Yeah. Yeah. One. It's a long way around here. Do you think now I'm, I'm there, you know, I watch There's those a little guys. Kindle. Say hi. David. Boy, it smells like dirty diapers in here. Phew. Did you have a blowout? No. Huh? Okay, say goodbye. You are on the air. Hello, Steve, Cindy. It's good to see you. How are you doing? I can see you too. <laughs> There's been an awful lot going on at Rock Bottom. Uh, first of the year, we uh, lost a lot of our support before. Uh, Quiet on the set. Changed a lot. <laughs> my husband is now a missionary in Appalachia. He's starting another work in another county nearby. And we're here at the camp meeting in charity this week. And God gave him $5,000 at the meeting. Glory. Amen. I'm going to take you out to dinner now, huh? Yeah. And he gave Joy Williamson $7,000 this morning. And last night, Cleese Dodge got taken on for support. He's going to Africa. He got all of his support in that meeting. I just thought it was sweet that God did that for him. It make him go on to education. Let's, and, uh, let's talk about what's this new work that you guys got going. Maybe I should ask the preacher this too. Maybe. Hey, uh, wait. Let me get it. Let's stop for a commercial right here. Now we're back. Okay. When you see the light, you're on. Yeah, you're on. You are on. Okay, well, Steve, uh, been hearing some good things about you over there, and pray for you every day. Appreciate you. Hope you and the girls are enjoying the trip. Amen. Hallelujah. And. Uh, we uh, started that work in Kentucky you know, before you left. And it'll be two years. We'll be down there in October. And the uh, Lord's opened up another door over another county to uh, let us start another work. It's a place called Traveler's Rest, but I'm not going to call it Traveler's Rest Baptist Church. Uh, since the theme of the camp meeting was uh, blow the north wind on my garden, and so I figured I'd call it uh, North Wind Baptist Church. Put it in a trailer for the time being and get a little flock and more beads and open up the door. We'll find a little piece of property, and put a little building on it, and start another work. Get done there, I'll pull the trailer someplace else and start all over again. And, uh, so, are you going to be um, the pastor of this church, or are you going to train somebody, or what are you going to do? Oh, okay. We're interviewing. <laughs> wide world of sports, amen. Yeah. Uh, what I'm going to do, Kenny and Steve, is uh, I'm going to have church once a week on Tuesday, and I'll uh, do that for a while, and then the Lord opens up uh, have it on Sunday afternoon. Then uh, I'll uh, start looking for uh, somebody else to come down and help me. And I want to be the right person. I don't want to. I don't want just somebody you know, trying to figure out what God wants them to do, and they want to use North Wind Baptist Church to figure that out. I want somebody that really led a God to a pastor church. I'll stay at rock bottom for the time being and do what God wants me to do there. Look forward to camp meeting in a couple of weeks. That'll be our second one, Big Law Cathedral Church. And, uh, Talking about bats in the belfry, Brother Steve. There's plenty of bats down there. <laughs> and when the music gets going and the preaching gets hot, the bats come out. Of course, you know how them birds are. Unclean spirits. <laughs> Amen. Do you want her to say anything? Oh, did you? Ask me another question, Ken. Go on, where to go? Well, that's about it. So you're going to just be like a... Um, Itinerant. Itinerant preacher, horseback. Are you want to? I'd have to look that up to figure out what it means. <laughs> I think that means I move around. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Mission board is classified as a church, church planner. planner. Church planner. In Appalachian. Appalachian. 
So the Lord's really been good and just put his seal on this thing. So the work over there. Cindy, I need to tell you, I finally did have to go to the mission board with my husband, and yes, you missed it. It was a real experience. <laughs> but uh, God was good during all that. I don't know how you felt, Brother Steve, when you went in that room, Miss Cindy, but uh, I never felt so much love. In my heart and my life was that mission board. All right. Wave goodbye. Steve, this is, the, this is the last day of this camp meeting. It's uh, between services now, around lunchtime, after lunch, where everybody's gone. Just kind of sticking around, cleaning things up a little bit. It's been, it's been really a real good camp meeting. Um, I have never seen anything like this on the wise before. It's, oh boy. So anyhow, we'll, I'll try to fill some of this tape up with some of the people here and let them talk to you and let them uh, say hey to you and all that stuff. So, um, okay, I'll leave it at that. Okay. Brother Steve, I just want to tell you that I took to heart everything that you told me when I was over in New Guinea with you. And uh, those churches that you wanted me to talk to, I went around this country crying for bacon to you. I hope you've gotten it. And if you have, I haven't heard from you. But uh, I've really made it sound like you were really in need for it. And that you didn't have much to eat. That they really needed to support you more. So uh, I hope that's what you want me to do. Amen. The way you want me to do it. Because I sure have tried hard. I even thought about getting some of those pictures, you know, where you guys are in the mud and things like that. But I didn't think that would be too good. Uh, they might really start praying to come home and we don't want you home. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tell us what's going on with deputation, how much support you have. and I've got about 70% of my support. And uh, things are going good. We're hoping we get there in the spring at the very latest. This coming spring? In the spring at the very latest. But God's been real good to us. Especially these last two months, we've picked up quite a bit of support. Oh, good. And, uh, should, uh, should he have something ready for you when you get over there? Like, buy a car for you and uh, rick rack or something? Oh, you want your house all furnished and stuff like that? I haven't really thought about all that. Uh, I think we're going to be gonna go out on Mount Hogan right at the very beginning. That's, we're going to be working with uh, Cumlinson. I don't know if you know him. I think you might. Uh, he's, Brother Ted said that he requested a missionary to go there and help his students. Uh, he wanted somebody to train him in evangelism. So that way I could take him uh, and fly out of Mount Hogan into San Barigi and use those Bible students trained firsthand in, uh, in evangelism as we're well, walking through that bush. I figured it'd help everybody out. But I uh, hope everything's going okay. Things been going well with you and your family? Everything's going fine. Great. Your wife want to say anything? Um, we miss you. We're looking forward to coming home and seeing you. Yeah, we pray for you. Really enjoyed our time together when we were over there. And uh, any gossip that you want to pass on to him? Uh, I'm trying to stay away from that. But uh, I've tried to stop all that, Brother Steve. You know all that stuff going on in the country, but I really have. <laughs> I haven't started. But I've tried to stop it. Now, every church that I've been to that supports you, they, they have a high respect for you, they pray for you, and uh, I haven't heard anything but good about it. That's the truth. Uh, the camp meeting's been great, man. Uh, couldn't be any better than probably one of the best I've ever been in. It's hard to say that. They're also good. But 
Spirit's been good. We just look forward to getting back to driving that car again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you gonna sign off? God bless you. Hey. Can make a tape, you know, have those girls sing and send it back, man. That'd be a real blessing. But that that jungle talk or what? Well, English, do a little both. Okay. I'm sure everybody here at the church would even appreciate that. So if you do that, that'd be a real blessing. Well, okay. Okay, say hey. hey. I don't write. Go ahead. What the Lord did to Cleves this week, it showed me that God really answers yeah. prayer if you wait on him long enough. Um, First Peter 5.10 says that after you stop for a while, that God will still be seven years. And uh, I'm trying to give you a strengthen and uh, establish you. And that just showed me that God's going to answer my prayers. He wants to answer to Cleves. It was a real fun thing. Amen. Bob. Hey, Jim, Bob. Say hey. Hey. We say hey. Who's this for? Hey. This is still Steve. Peace. All right. Are they playing basketball yet? Who? <laughs> oh. Oh. Goodbye. Goodbye. We'll serenade you sometime. Yeah, Steve has these uh, uh, goblins that play basketball. Miss you, Steve. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Some spir spiritual. <laughs> or, uh, okay, something carnal then. No, the reds are going wild. Yeah, they're not like last year. Oh, come on, Josh. Oh, look at that. Hello, Mrs. Uh, Donna. Mrs. Donna, wait. Say hey. This is New Guinea still. Oh, you know, you don't want to write, you know, but you don't want to have one. No, 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 that's Rebecca Rife. Come on. All right. Say something to Steve. Hi, Steve. How you doing, bro? I wrote you a letter. How come you haven't written me back? The light's kind of bad here. There we go. I wrote you a letter. How come you wrote me back? What is the deal? You didn't send any money. Oh, I didn't send any money. <laughs> That's the key. I didn't know. See you, bro. We just had a great meeting. The Lord's here for us. That's for the sandal you ever seen about that. His illustration on the key. Bless Amen. Okay. Hello, Steve. Hi, Steve. How you doing? He said okay. <laughs> yeah, Bobby will say hello to Steve. Hello, Steve. What am I supposed to say? 
Whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, That's Bob and Bob. <laughs> I wish I could tell you where I was looking, but I can't. Okay. Hi, Steve. How are you? <laughs> Just for you to see me. How about that? <laughs> can you hear me? Uh, I don't know. Can I hear you? <laughs> but I don't think they're going well for you. You the girls are well. I know that church in Pennsylvania, they're praying for you. And they really appreciate the work you're doing. And hope the Lord's blessed you. Ask you to pray for us. God direct us and show us what to do. Where to go. Thank the Lord for everything He's done. Amen. Keep up the fight. <laughs> Another Greshamite. Hey, Steve. That's uh, what's a sailor. What's the name? Same hairdo. Same hairdo. Yes, sir. <laughs> Receding forehead. What's the name? Jared Paul. That's Jared Gresham. Four weeks old, five weeks old. Five okay. weeks old, ready to sail to far beyond. You want to say anything, Sean? You want to say anything to the brother? No, you. Oh, me. Uh, I, I said my piece the other day. Okay, well, I forget. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. What are you doing? Huh? <laughs> Gresham girl. <laughs> Say hi to Tracy, Robin Blair. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Caught ya! <laughs> uh, that was a good one, wasn't it? Well, say go give me a thumbs up. Say goodbye to Steve. Steven, Cindy, Trace, Rob, and Blair. Hasta la vista, Ben Oevo, ciao. Bye. And God bless you. Amen. Amen. Okay, let's get back to... <laughs> okay, just say goodbye. Say goodbye. Tracy and Blair. Say goodbye. Bye. Up here, what's going on here? Who are you gossiping about? About the Brogdons, right? New Guinea. Just say hi to Cindy. Then say goodbye and all that stuff. Okay. Goodbye. Hey, there's Blake Blungall. Look at the booger in his nose, yeah. Wonder for Christ, dude. Team Jesus. More gossip over here. What's going on here? <laughs> don't, you're, don't try to get out of the picture. You'll be in it too. Love you. 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 <laughs> you get a close up of the hey Amen. Joe, say something though. Let's go to New Guinea. New Guinea. Just say hey. Oh, you're, you're, this tape is going. Yes, you're, you're right.
Steve, how you doing? Good to see you. Uh, I don't know if Ohio State's winning or not, but uh, I just want to throw that in there. I don't think they're playing. You started scrimmaging in professional though. Uh, Cleveland's in first place. They haven't played a game yet. Everybody else has played and lost. So that's about all I can say. Say goodbye. Bye. Okay, we got some more gossip going on over here. Who you guys talking about? This is going to New Guinea. Hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. Hi, girl. Hi, Robin. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Blair. Hi. Say something, Debbie. It's just Debbie's out of the world. Erica Shank, she's going to Africa. There's a little Miller girl. Emily? You guys going to say anything? Say goodbye. What, what's going on here? Steve, Steve would like to know what happened. Well, I kicked it. Kenny and missed. <laughs> would you believe that? Would you believe I fell out of a tree? Fell out of a tree. Yeah. Horrible. That's the well, story. Let's see you walk. Here to glory. See me walk. Yeah, we want to see you walk here. I got the Bob Blue Hop. The Bob Blue Hop. <laughs> Fell out of a tree. Okay, as we ladies pick up the latest. <laughs> Say bye. Say bye. Well, you guys aren't saying much. What? You're supposed to talk. Say something, hey. Steve, I'll tell you what, these teenagers have turned their back upon you. Look at them. They're, they're Preach! 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 Like everything said, I said, I look in that way. Rebellious teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> Leah. Name. Jimmy who? <laughs> this is a white New Guinean. <laughs> he acts just like him. <laughs> Does he eat the grub worms too? <laughs> You know who that is in the camp? All right, let's hear what you got. Oh. Now look at this, Steve. The Bible says here in Job chapter 16, verse Hold 21, it says, Oh, that one might plead for a man with God as a man pleadeth for his neighbor. 
Brother, I ask you to pray for me. Love you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Don't eat too many pineapples now, okay? Yes, bananas. Tell Blair and Tracy and, and Cindy and Robin, we all said hi and we love you. And uh, looking forward to seeing you again someday. If not here, we're there. Bye. I did want to say hi to everybody, too. I just didn't want to tell you, you know, I didn't want to sound too long. I always had those for We love you. God bless you. Cookies lately. <laughs> Are you going to talk? No talk? <laughs> Does Jerry still push you around a lot? <laughs> All the time. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, say goodbye. We're going to go. I'll just give you a list of some of the names. Let's see if we can... Among the tombs he dwelt in misery. He cut himself as demon powers possessed him. Then Jesus came and he set the captive free. When Jesus comes, the tempter's power is broken. When Jesus comes, the tears are wiped away. He takes a glue. And fills a life with glory, and all is changed when Jesus comes to stay. Unclean, unclean, the leper cried in torment. The deaf and the dumb in helplessness stood near. The fever raged, disease had gripped its victim. <laughs> Then Jesus came, and it cast out every fear. When Jesus comes, the tempter's power is broken. When Jesus comes, the tears are wiped away. 
He takes the gloom and fills the life with glory. And all is changed when Jesus comes to stay. Their hearts were sad as in the tomb they laid him. For death had come and taken him away. The night was dark and bitter tears were falling. Then Jesus came and the night was turned to day. When Jesus comes, the tempter's power is broken. When Jesus comes, the tears are wiped away. He takes the gloom and fills the light with glory. And all is changed when Jesus comes to stay. So men today have found the Savior able. They could not conquer passion, lust, or sin. Their broken hearts had left them sad and lonely. Then Jesus came and dwelt himself within. When Jesus comes, the tempter's power is broken. When Jesus comes, the tears are wiped away. He takes a gloom and fills a life with glory. And all is changed when Jesus comes to stay. Sweet hour of praise, sweet hour of prayer that calls me from a world of care and bids me at my fall. In seasons of distress and grief, my soul has often found relief and oft escaped the tempter snare by the Turn, sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer, may I thy consolation share, till from Mount Pisgah. Shout while passing through the air. Farewell, farewell, sweet hour of prayer. I took a look in the old black book, and it thrilled me through and through. If you've been saved and born again, it's bound to thrill you too. I was reading along about going home, and I found to my surprise 
I'm already there in Jesus. I'm living on the other side. I'm already over on the other side, waiting on my brand new body. I'm sitting up there in the heavenly fair at the right side of the Father. My citizenship's in heaven. I'm living in Christ, you see. I'm already there in Jesus. I'm waiting on my body to be. Let the heathen rage come what may. None can bother me. To this old world I'm crucified with Christ on Calvary. Spent three whole days there in the grave. With him I've been baptized. So being then made dead to sin, I'm living on the other side. I'm already over on the other side, waiting on my brand new body. I'm sitting up there in the heavenly fair at the right side of the Father. My citizenship's in heaven, I'm living in Christ, you see. I'm already there in Jesus, I'm waiting on my body to be. Well, if you've been fretting or thinking about quitting or fainting by the way, and you've already passed from death to life, Brother, you might as well stay. The battle's fought, the victory's won. It's finished, my Lord cried. He made us more than conquerors. We're living on the other side. I'm already over on the other side, waiting on my brand new body. I'm sitting up there in the heavenly fair at the right side of the Father. My citizenship's in heaven. I'm living in Christ, you see. I'm already there in Jesus. I'm waiting on my body to be. I'm kind of homesick for a country to which I never been before. No sad goodbyes. We
and quicken from the dead. I gave, I gave my life for thee. Will thou give thine for me? I gave, I gave my life for thee. Will thou give thine for me? My father's house of light my glory circle through I left for earthly night to suffer I suffered much for thee, more than thy tongue can tell, a bitterest agony to rescue. How measureless and strong He shall forevermore endure The saints and angels